Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The Las Vegas Hilton takes great pleasure in presenting The Liberace Show, staged and directed by Ray Arnett, and starring that man who is famous throughout the world for his candelabra and his piano, the star of our show, Miss the Showmanship, Liberace. Look me over. <laughs> I didn't get dressed like this to go unnoticed. <laughs> it's wonderful to see all of you, and thank you for that lovely welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Before I go any further, I have to find out, how did you like the entrance? Was that okay? Did you like that? Oh, great. Well, good. I have to tell you how I got the idea. I had the wonderful honor just recently of being invited over to London to give a Royal Command performance for the Royal family. So, you know, I figured such an important occasion, I better give them the works. And then after it was all over, I thought, wouldn't it be nice to have a lasting remembrance of that beautiful occasion to bring back to Las Vegas to share with all of you. So I brought back a souvenir, the Rolls Royce. What do you think? <laughs> Do you like it, huh? You do, wonderful. Oh, great. Well, let me tell you, I'm kind of proud of it myself. You know, most people know I collect pianos and that sort of thing. But lately, I've gone into collecting unusual automobiles. And they tell me this is the only Phantom 5 Rolls-Royce limousine in the world with a left-hand drive. So after I got it over here, I had to find me a left-handed chauffeur, right? I want you to meet my friend over there, that's Scott Thorson. Thank you, Scott. Well, I'm glad you like the car. Boy, it really stops traffic when I shop at Safeways. <laughs> 
especially in this coat. <laughs> I'm kidding about that. Let's say goodbye to Scott, okay? We'll see you later, Scott. Bye-bye. No, this is the coat that was designed just to wear that one night at the Royal Command performance. And you want to know something? I was the only one there with one like it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, I got to tell you, Her Majesty, you know, Queen Elizabeth, she loved it. I was so flattered that she noticed it. Yeah, she even felt the material, would you believe it? Yes, sure, have a feel, hon. Go ahead, just have it. You like it? Oh, yes, sure, there's enough there for all of you. Help yourself. Oh, yeah. Oh, sure, you want to know what it's made out of? Virgin Fox. Yeah, did you recognize it? Oh, well, good. Takes one to know one. <laughs> well, let me tell you, it took forever to get the pelts. Think about it. <laughs> well, listen, I'm glad you like it, but do me a favor. Take a fast look at it because I'm taking it off. It's hotter in hell. <laughs> okay? Are you ready for some music? How about that? Okay. Oh, before I play for you, ladies and gentlemen, I have to let you in on something I'm very happy and excited about, and I might even surprise you a little when I tell you I'm celebrating my 35th year in show business. What do you think about that? Isn't that great? Thank you very much. Yeah, I started when I was four. <laughs> <laughs> Well, anyway, they've been 35 of the happiest years of my life. And during that time, I've been to many fascinating and exciting places. I've met a lot of beautiful people. In fact, shortly before coming here, I had the great pleasure of giving some concerts in Mexico City. And I brought back a little bit of Mexico to share with all of you. I hope you enjoy my musical salute to our friends south of the border.
You're very generous, and I'm certainly looking forward to playing a lot more for you. And I will. Thank you very much. I just thought I'd get up for a moment, you know. I like to get up every now and then anyway. Yeah, it straightens out the shorts. <laughs> That did it. <laughs> you want to know something. <laughs> when you wear costumes like these, you have to be very careful how you sit down. No kidding, if the beads are turned the wrong way, it's murder. <laughs> One bead will do it. <laughs> well, here I have done a couple of numbers, and, and you want to know something? I'm warm already. So you know what I was thinking? Why don't I slip out and get into something more spectacular? What do you think? All right? Thank you. The music of the Waltz King, Johann Strauss.
I'd like to share your wonderful applause for the music of Strauss with the internationally famous Dancing Waters. So many people here have asked me how the Dancing Waters operate, and I'd like you to know there's a very talented young man behind the scenes, and he has a console with a keyboard on it, and he's able to synchronize the movement of the fountains with what I'm playing at the piano. And I think he deserves a special hand just for himself. <laughs> Mr. Jeffrey. You know, I must tell you, as beautiful as they are, I did have some slight reservations about using the dancing waters in my show because someone explained to me about the strange effect the sound of running water can have on an audience. <laughs> and I want to thank you for showing such beautiful restraint. <laughs> I don't think I lost a single one tonight, did I? <laughs> well, listen, it might get to you later, but for now, thank you for holding it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, I have another surprise for you, ladies and gentlemen. One of the great thrills I get out of my profession is the fact that from time to time, I've had the marvelous opportunity of introducing some exciting new talent in my shows. And some of my discoveries have gone on to great heights in show business, and it makes me feel rather proud to have played a part in their rise to fame. I think my most illustrious discovery was a young lady I introduced to Las Vegas for the first time when I was appearing at the Riviera Hotel a few years back. She was absolutely wonderful then, but she's even greater today. In fact, she's become a superstar. Her name is Barbara Streisand. She's doing all right, isn't she? I'll say. <laughs> and I'm so happy for her. Well, I'm most anxious to have you meet my latest discovery, a very talented young man who's been singing since he was nine years old. At the age of 18, he won a scholarship at the Juilliard School of Music, which led to his winning the Metropolitan Opera Auditions. He's making his debut in my show, and I predict a brilliant future for this talented young man. So let's say we all get together and make him a superstar, too. Ladies and gentlemen, the wonderful Marco Valenti. <laughs> Granada, tierra, sangre, granada, en torno. Mujer que conserva el vale brujo de los ojos maros. El sueño rebelde de gitana, cubierta de flores. Y beso tu boca de grana, rosa manzana, el diablo de amor. La cantata en clopro Hermosa que darte que robo Granada, tierra soñada por mí, mi cantar se vuelve y amo por vos, para ti. Granada, tierra, soñada por mí, mi cantar se vuelve y amo por vos, por ti. Granada, tierra, soñada por mí, mi cantar se vuelve y amo por vos, por ti. Granada, tierra, soñada por mí, mi cantar se vuelve y amo
Serrano Do you like this suit, huh? Oh, good. I'm glad you like it because I designed it. Yeah. It's not too much, you know, for a start. <laughs> Later on, we'll go further. You want to show them the whole thing? Sure, might as well. There you go. Isn't that nice, huh? Oh. He wants to see the back. Show him the back. Yeah. Yeah, show him the back. There's the back. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Did you notice the zipper is in the back? Uh -huh. <laughs> it's hell in the men's room. <laughs> Think about it. <laughs> Marco, all kidding aside, I'm sure these folks would enjoy hearing those wonderful songs that you do as a tribute to someone you admire very much. You know, ladies and gentlemen, I believe every performer in show business has some idols along the way. I certainly did. When I was a little kid, I wanted to be like the concert pianist, Paderewski. And then as I grew older, the popular pianist, Eddie Duchin, became my idol. And I happen to know that Marco has an idol too. And he'd like to pay his respects to him by singing some of those immortal songs of Mario Lanza. And listen, Marco, while you're singing those beautiful songs, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to slip out and get into something more spectacular, okay? Marco Valenti. The road would never bend When things go wrong A man ain't got a friend Without a song Because you're mine The brightest that I see Looks down my love and envies me because you're mine, because you're mine, because you're mine. The breeze that breathes by becomes a melody and why? Because you're mine, because you're mine. I only know. For as long as I may live, I'll only live for the kiss that you alone may give me. And when we kiss, that isn't thunder, dear, it's only my poor heart you hear. And it's applause because you're mine. When you are in love, it's the loveliest night of the year. Stars twinkle above, and you almost can touch them from here. Words fall into rhyme Every time you're holding me near So kiss me, my sweet It's the loveliest night of the year Be my love for no one else can end 
that you and you alone create. Just fill my arms the way you filled my dreams, the dreams that you inspire. Set me burning One kiss is all I need To seal my fate And hand in hand We'll find love's promised land There'll be no one but you For me Eternal you enjoyed Marco thank you very much well now what do you think <laughs> it's a little different <laughs> I have to tell you how this one came about when I told my costume designer I was going to have the great pleasure of the ballet folklorico in my show I said you're going to have to make me a Mexican outfit so he said well what kind of Mexican outfit would you like and I said, well, just give me the whole enchilada. <laughs> and this is it. <laughs> you know, ladies and gentlemen, as you can imagine, I take a lot of kidding about my costumes, but I really don't mind. As long as you enjoy seeing them, I enjoy wearing them, believe me. And of course, you know, I only wear them on the stage, you know, when I'm doing a show. I never wear them on the street like some people think. <laughs> oh, God, I'd be picked up for sure. <laughs> oh, you're right, it might be interesting. <laughs> well, to go with it, ladies and gentlemen, I would personally like to pay my musical respects to these wonderful Mexican artists by playing some of the beloved and famous songs of their country.
ladies and gentlemen, the Ballet Folklorico of Mexico. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, if you should ever have the opportunity to travel through Mexico, I promise you'll not only have a wonderful time, but you're bound to run into a fiesta. Boy, they have these fiestas at a drop of a Mexican hat. And of course, the music calls for the colorful pageantry and the processions, and it usually highlights a young man who started out very similar to our American cowboy roping cattle and has turned this roping into a fine art form. And ladies and gentlemen, you're going to see one of the best. So now I'd like to invite you to become a part of our Mexican fiesta. And it features Lorenzo Escamilla and the Ballet Folklorico of Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> Too much, huh? <laughs> you know what it is? Black diamond mink. Acres of it. <laughs> yeah, every time I wear this, I think of what Mae West once said when she said, Too much of a good thing is wonderful. <laughs> it weighs 136 pounds, would you believe? Yeah, the fur is light, but the lining is heavy. It's all lined in these Austrian rhinestones. Yeah, George can hardly wait to get this one. Yeah. 
And you know something else? It's not the loudest outfit in my wardrobe, but it's the most expensive. Wait till you see the whole thing. Don't go away. Have you got some take it off music back there, Bo? I got some. Let me hear it. Oh, I love it. I get so horny when I do that. <laughs> you too? <laughs> you know why it's the most expensive outfit? Actually, it's because of the buttons. They're real diamond buttons. Yeah, in fact, the buttons cost more than the suit. But I couldn't come out just in the buttons. <laughs> Coax me. <laughs> oh, oh, I'll make that centerfold yet. Oh. And then I can go streaking. I'm only kidding. That streaking sort of had it anyway, right? Yeah, that's petered out. And besides, Burt Reynolds would be so jealous. I got the diamonds, he's got the jewels. Oh. Uh, you're slow, but you're worth waiting for. <laughs> oh, isn't that cute? She's explaining it to him. <laughs> you know what the gimmick is with the buttons. On each button, there's a letter, and all together they spell out my name. See, that makes them tax deductible. <laughs> yeah. See, here's the L over here. Can you see it? There's the L, and here's the I, and here's the B, and the E, and the R, and the A. <laughs> it's in the back. <laughs> C-E, there it is. <laughs> Are you looking at the buttons? <laughs> well, you want to feel the material? Help yourself. Right about here is where I get the message. Oh, yeah. Oh, do the other one. <laughs> I don't want to be frustrated. <laughs> Isn't this a fun place? Oh, I must say. You folks make the Las Vegas Hilton one of the friendliest showrooms in Las Vegas. Thank you for doing that. You're marvelous. Thank you very much. I love it here. I still love to dance in the old-fashioned way. Hold you close in my arms. Just melt against my skin And let me feel your heart Don't let the music win By dancing far apart Stay close Where you belong Let's hear our secret song and dance in the old-fashioned way won't you stay in my arms and we'll discover hearts we never knew before we just close our eyes and dance around the floor. That gay, old-fashioned way that makes me love you more.
It's no fun to dance alone. I'm gonna find me somebody to dance with. Yes, I am. What's your name? I can't dance, really. I'm... Oh, you can? Neither can I. <laughs> you want to? Come on. Sure. Oh, sure. Oh, hi. What's your name, love? Harriet? Where are you from, Harriet? Minneapolis. Oh, I played there many times. I love it there. Oh, come on, Harriet. This is Harriet from Minneapolis. something for you. Just hang out for a second. Hey, I got you. I got you all hot and bothered here. <laughs> Harriet, just so you remember who you dance with, this handkerchief has my picture on it and my autograph, and I want you to have it. What do I get for that? Harriet, thank you. You keep doing that, I'll keep giving you things. Oh, uh, let me see what I got here. Yeah, look at this. Harriet, while you're in Las Vegas, I'd like to personally invite you to the Liberace Museum and just tell my brother George I sent you. Okay? You what do I get for that? <laughs> Let me see if I have anything else. <laughs> That's it, Harriet. <laughs> Thank you so much. Wasn't she good? <laughs> oh. oh, thank you so much. You're with all these nice people here. Are they all from Minneapolis? Chicago. Chicago? Oh, you picked them up along the way, huh? <laughs> oh, that's great. Nice to have you with. Are you all having a good time so far? Are you? Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Great. Well, the reason I asked you see, I'm supposed to lead into the finale of my show right now, but I'm in no particular rush to get any place. Would you like me to stay and play some more? Okay. Sure. And besides, we have so many folks here tonight who came here to celebrate some very happy occasions of their own, and I'm so flattered they want to share them with me. I've been getting notes backstage telling me about your birthdays and your wedding anniversaries, and we even have a couple with us tonight who were just married today. And you know, it's so seldom I get a chance to dedicate a number to newlyweds this late in the evening. So if you don't mind, <laughs> can I do their number first of all? Okay? Yeah, because, well, they said they might not be able to stay for the whole thing, you know? Yeah, they made some other arrangements, you know? Oh, and I got to tell you, they're a very unusual couple in as much as it happens to be the second time around for both of them. She's 65 and he's 71. What do you think about that? Isn't that great? And they've requested a very beautiful song. 
It's impossible.
play that part again so you can all shout hey. All right? Okay. do it again, don't you? All right, okay. Hey! How about the ladies doing it all by themselves, okay? Now it's your turn. Hey! I hope I didn't leave anybody out. <laughs> oh, we did leave out somebody. All you kids under 25, how about that? Okay. Bunch of liars. <laughs> now this boogie woogie I've been playing for you is the kind that is known as boogie woogie eight to the bar. Here's a little invention of my own. Boogie woogie 16 to the bar.
Boy, I'm telling you, I have so much fun doing these shows for you here that honestly, sometimes I'm a little ashamed to take the money. <laughs> but I will. <laughs> No, I really have to. You know why? Remember that bank I used to cry all the way to? <laughs> I bought it. <laughs> it's nice, yeah. I kind of like this place. <laughs> we'll see, okay? Let me ask you something. Can you stand another surprise? Oh, good. Take what's left. I be seeing you in all the old familiar places that this heart of mine embraces. All day through In that small cafe I love your haircut <laughs> It's coming along nicely 
<laughs> oh, you like the rings? I'm glad you want to see them because, let's face it, you bought them. <laughs> the chestnut trees, the wishing well. I'll be seeing you in every lovely summer's day in everything that's warm and gay I'll always think of you that way Harriet, thanks for dancing with me you made me feel just like Lawrence Well. <laughs> Don't laugh, he cries all the way to the bank, too. I'll be looking at the moon, but I'll be seeing you. Bless you. All day through. 